the main languages in Tukloban mission are Wadaiwadai Wadai and Cebuano, but it's definitely not limited to those two. They, within every single town or city, it's almost like a different variation of everything or every one of them. Me personally, I served in six different areas over two years and I spoke six different dialects of languages. So, like, for example, um, I guess one of my favorite words to use as an example is the word for cry. In my first area, um, I don't know if I can remember them all. In my first area, the word you use for cry is tuuk. So if you're crying, you say nak tuuk ako. And then I went to my second area and I was still speaking what I what I, but when I was trying to tell somebody that I was crying, I can't remember what the word is anymore, but I said nak tuuk ako and they looked at me funny and asked me what I was even trying to say because it was just that different. Um, and then I went to my third area and I was using that next word and tried saying it and somebody was like, what are you talking about? And so I found out that the word for cry up there was haya. And um, I got used to that for a little while and then transferred to a Sabuano area and had to change my word for, for cry to helak. And luckily after that, I got to go to another Sabuano area where it was still Hilak. And then I transferred to Tukloban where I had to change it again. But um, just kind of, in a lot of areas, it's this, the general language is the same, but um, like descriptive words can be different. The word for good is different in the two languages. In what I what I, it's Maopai. And in Cebuano, it's Ma'ayo. Um, a similarity, I guess, is, you know, in Wadai Wadai, you just take the L's from Cebuano and you turn them into R's. So to say no in Cebuano, you'd say Wala, or like there is none. You'd say Wala. But in Wadai Wadai, it becomes Wadai. And, you know, there's just so many other variations of that. Another one is... Um, in Cebuano, you use a lot of S's, and so it's a kind of a softer sounding language. But in Wadai Wadai, you use a lot of H's, so it becomes a little bit more harsh and, um, you know, just a little bit of a stronger language. There's also a little bit of an accent that goes with it. You almost have to, um, you have, um, what are they called? Voice inflections in Wadai Wadai where it almost sounds like you're singing it a little bit. Whereas in Cebuano, you just speak it smooth. Um, but they're pretty similar overall, I'd say. Like, after going from what I, what I H, I served in for two areas over nine months. And then I got transferred to an area that actually speaks what I, what I S. So they use the S's like in Cebuano rather than the H's. And it's almost its own, it's its own crazy language, you know, apart from what I what I H and from Cebuano. But uh, when I transferred, finally transferred after being in what I what I areas for 15 months in total, I transferred to a Cebuano area and was able to pick it up within two or th two weeks, I'd say. You know, they're just that similar that um, you know, once you learn a few words, it's just kind of nice and easy to learn the other one if you can get the sounds right. But then, after being in Cebuano for, uh, for three months, I transferred to an area that spoke um, Cebuano J. So, you, in Cebuano J, it's kind of funny because you change the Ys to Js. So when you say ma'ayo, or good, in Cebuano, it becomes ma'ajo. And it's kind of fun to say, like, to kind of mess around with, but um, for the most part, a lot of people actually didn't even speak it. Um, sometimes you'd get um, the older generation, and they'd be really into speaking Cebuano J, and it, would, it was almost hard to 
um, understand what they were saying sometimes because it's it creates just a complete different feel to the language but um, overall I'd say like you know it's easy to it's easy enough to pick them up within a appropriate amount of time.